Hello my friend, happy to see you here. Today we have really interesting and I would say like a really tricky question from entrance examination. We know that the product xy equal to 5, yz equal to 10 and xz equal to 15 and we need to solve it for a sum x plus y plus z. So if you have your notes, your thoughts about this question, write your question, write your notes, write your thoughts in the comments below and then we will check our answer so it will be really interesting. So let's call this first equation, this xy equal to 5, let's call this as the first equation, this yz is the second equation and xz is the third equation. And right now I want to consider a lot of combinations. So the first combination, let's start for example on the left side. On the first combination let's multiply first equation times second equation and let's divide it by the third equation. Let's see what will happen. First equation xy, xy times second equation yz, yz all over third one, all over x, z equal to, and right now in terms of constant, so x, y equal to 5, so equal to 5 times y, z equal to 10, and all over x, z, x, z equal to, equal to 15. Right now, what do we have on the left side? So we can cancel this x, this x, this z, and this z, so we have only y square, so we cancel all of this, we have only y square, so from here we have y square equal to, what do we have right here? 5 times 10 times uh, all over 15, so we can easily mm, cancel this, uh, or right here we can easily cancel, we can easily divide it by 5, so right here we have 3, right here we have 1, so 10 third, okay, y square equal to 10 third, and this is extremely great information for us, let's underline this uh, expression. Right now let's consider a second, uh, second combination, okay, so our next part, let's, uh, let's uh, write second combination, let's multiply first equation by the third one, and let's divide it by uh, the second equation, so what do we have, first by third, xy times xz, xz, all over, all over second, all over yz, and right now, in terms of constant, what do we have? x, y, 5 times x, z, 15, and all over y, z, y, z equal to y, z equal to 10. And right now, uh, the same logic, what do we have? We can easily cancel this y and this y, this, z, and this, z, and we have x times x equal to, so we have only x and x. We have right here, we had y and y, right here we have x and x, so we have x square on the left side, and on the right side, we can easily cancel this, 5 and this 10, so we can write right here 2, so 15, 15 half, so x square equal to 15 over, over 2, x square equal to 15 over 2. And the third combination, uh, the last one, so second equation by the third one, and we divide it by, mm, by the first. So what do we have as a result? Second, yz, yz times third one, xz, all over first xy. And right now in terms of uh, in terms of our constant, so what do we have? Yz 10 times xz times 15 and all over we have all over xy equal to equal to 5. Right here we can easily cancel this 5 and this 15, so right here 3 and 10 times 3 equal to equal to uh, 30. So we have uh, our what, what constant x and x we're gonna cancel, y and y we're gonna cancel, and we have only z, so z square, z square equal to 30 equal to 30, z square equal to 30. Okay, so we know squares, and right now a lot of students might be asking why do we need these squares, why do we need this combination, and right now really important formula. In terms of math there's one, there was a lot of, there are a lot of formulas, but this one is extremely great for us, so a thumb a plus b plus c to the second power equal to a square plus b square plus c square and plus 2 AB, AB plus BC, and plus CA. Of course, this is our formula, uh, this is formula in terms of A and B, but in general it looks like that. In our case, we have XYZ, so we can easily write it in terms of XYZ, so we have X plus Y plus Z, maybe you're interested in that, X plus Y plus Z to the second power equal to X square plus Y square plus Z square plus 2 times xy plus yz and plus xz. Okay, we have two formulas. The best formula for us is of course this one because we work with x, y and z. But right now let's underline what do we know from here and what we need to find. x plus y plus z, expression that we need to find, 
x plus y plus z. We know product x, y, y, z, x, z. We have it right here. So we know this product. And we know a thumb of squares. We have these squares right here. So right now let's plug in everything and let's simplify this. So we have a thumb x plus y plus z. So we need to find it x plus y plus z. And this is our question. So we need to solve this question for this to the power 2 equal to x square plus y square plus v square. So x square 15 half. 15 half plus y square 10 third plus 10 third and plus z square z square equal to 30 so plus 30 and plus 2 times all these products x y y z x z we need to add all of this so 5 plus 10 plus 15 okay so we have 5 plus 10 and plus 15 Okay, uh, from here, what do we have? X plus Y plus Z without any changes. X plus Y plus Z equal to, to the second power, of course, equal to. Let's leave it like that. So 15 half, uh, the same beginning, 15 half plus uh, 10 over 3. But right here, let's simplify this. So we have 13. What do we have right here at this place? So 5 plus 10 plus 15 equal to um, 30, I guess. Yeah, we have 30. 30 times 2, we have 60, and 60 plus 30 equal to 90, so plus 90. Okay, let's add right now all of this, um, all of this right here on the right side. So we have x, x plus y plus z to the second power equal to, first of all, let's add these two fractions. So the common denominator is 6, so we have 15, uh, 15 uh, times uh, 3, 15 times 3 plus 10 times 2. Of course, this is my method. Maybe you learn in a different way, but that's how I add uh, two fractions. So plus 90. Okay, equal to, what do we have? 15 times 3 equal to 45. So 45 plus uh, 10 times 2 equal to 20. So 20 and all over, all over 6. And of course, plus this 90 plus 90. So as a result, we have uh, we need to add two fractions. So let's start from the beginning. So x plus y mm, plus z uh, to the second power equal to uh, 65 over uh, 65 over uh, 6. Yeah, we have 65 over 6 plus. 90. How can we add it? There's one really interesting trick. So right here we have the numerator 6, so we have 65 over uh, 65 over 6. And this one we can write as 540 over 6. This is the same 90, but I, I just make this, uh, this, this same uh, denominator. So that's why we can add it. So we have 605, we have a common denominator. So 605 over over 6. This is a square x plus y plus z to the second power equal to this expression. But we need to find x plus y plus z without second power. So we need to uh, consider this with the square root. So we have 605 over over 6. Let's simplify this. First of all, let's use really interesting and different tricks. This numerator 605 can be written as, so we have square root of 5 times 121. We can write it like that, all over, all over 6. Uh, what we're going to do next? Right now, this square root of 100, uh, this 121, this is 11 square. So we can write it as square root of 5 times 11 square over square root of over, not like square root, we have only 6. Right now, we don't apply this square root. So we have square root of 5 times square root of 11 square so right now we split everything on the lower lower square root of six yeah and in the end we have right here we're going to cancel this square root sign and these two so we have only 11 right here square root of five over square root of six so we have 11 square root of five over square root of six and the last trick it's not necessary but a lot of students don't like this square root sign in a in a denominator so that's why we can multiply right here by square root of six and right here by square root of 6. So as a result, 11 uh, square root of 5 times square root of 6 equal to square root of 5 times 6 all over square root of 6 times square root of 6 equal to square root of 6 square or only 6. Yeah? So as a result of a final answer, 11 square root of 30 over 6. And we can't uh, simplify this more. This is our final, uh, final answer. Let's write it. So our answer, our answer 
x plus y and plus z, so the sum equal to 11 square root of 30 over over 6. This is our final answer to this question. Of course, I'm very interested, I'm very excited to see your solution, your, your respond. What do you think about this type of question? This is my solution. You can easily see it right now. You can see this, uh, these steps. You can see this uh, explanation. You can see the solution. And of course, if you have your solution, your answer, you can also write it um, in the comments below. It will be really interesting to read about it. So I want to say thank you everyone for watching. Thank you everyone for being here, for, for supporting my type of content. I'm really excited. I'm really happy that you're here. That we have that type of community it's extremely important for me to uh, to be here and i really want to say thank you for for being here for supporting my channel for writing your um, your comments your likes your dislikes it's extremely great because my main goal is to make math clear and understandable mainly for students because uh, students like mostly struggle with the with the with the basic mathematics maybe a lot of teachers here who want to see different questions maybe for for exam they preparing for for their students it's also really really great so i want to say thank you very, everyone for watching thank you everyone for being here i wish you all the best in life take care of yourself and have a great day see you in the next videos